Okay guys, we're on the lake today. If you can tell, I, like, I legit just woke up. Now I had told you guys I'd be at Barkley this weekend. There was a few reasons I didn't go to Barkley. And there's, well, there's actually three reasons. One, I just didn't have enough time. And I know you probably think I'm stupid trying to tell you I didn't have enough time for fishing. But it is six hours away. We'd had to been there last night and my dad had to work there yesterday. And then the second reason, we wouldn't have had no practice. I've never been there before. I know nothing about it. And then three, I don't have a Navionics card. That place is dangerous without a Navionics card. You could run up on a sandbar. And I mean, to fish ledges, you gotta have an Avionics card. Which, I mean, I could have bought one for $200, but I'd legit been buying a $200 Navionics card for one map for one day. So recently, I've been getting a lot of comments about what do I film with. I had some person ask if this video was filmed on a rock or a potato. If you wanna be specific, it was on an Idaho potato from Walmart. But for real, guys, I know this camera's not the best one in the world, but you gotta understand, I'm not rich, okay? I am a YouTuber. For you guys, a stereotypical YouTuber, they got all kinds of money, and they can just go do anything with their money, all right? But a stereotypical YouTuber doesn't have 50,000 subscribers like I do. They have like 5 million. Now, I know that 50,000 subscribers, that's a lot of people, but 50,000 subscribers does not mean it's a lot of money. Now, I do get paid a little bit, enough to where I can break off a crankbait every now and then, and I'll go home and kill myself, but I don't have enough money to just wake up one day and decide, hey, I want to go buy a camera and by the way the camera I'm looking at it's about a thousand dollars so yeah that's a lot of money and that's a whole lot of crankbaits I promise and I'm gonna tell you today's gonna be a hot day and in one of my previous videos I tested if sunscreen affected bass fishing so I'm not gonna risk getting burnt today so you know we'll spray down because I've done tested it and I know that it ain't gonna affect me Now I won't come in tonight with my skin shriveled up and hot to the touch. Okay, so we're at our first spot. The water's really high right now, but I think it might be going down. If it's going down, it means I'll probably be out deep. If it's still up and maybe rising, then we might have to go right up in the bushes, like in the inches of water. But we're gonna try this spot out first. I got a spook on. Maybe something about it, maybe not. But we'll figure something out before the end of the day. That's for sure. No. Yeah. I just caught a bass on a spoon. I just caught a fish on a spoon. I just caught a stinking fish on, get the net, Dad, this is a good one, too. On a stinking spoon. This has made my day. I've never caught a fish on a spoon. I've never even caught a fish deep, guys. I just caught a fish on a spoon. I can't get over that. Net him, he ain't a giant, but. Yeah, he's a nice one. Smallmouth. I mean, he's not no, he's not like a, you know, like 12 pound smallmouth, but. He is a pretty good two and a half or something like that. Okay, guys. Well, he's he's not 18. He's just 16. But, I mean, we'll go ahead and get weight on him anyhow. No scales back there. Okay. Well, I don't got scales. There's this big smallie. I'm going to cast it again because I got bit once. Surely I can get bit twice. And this is offshore. They should be schooled up. And, uh... But yeah, a lot of times when they're offshore, they're schooled up. So there's probably more out there. I'm gonna try to catch them too. Okay guys, well we did catch one small, big smallmouth off this, off this spot. We fished it for about 20 more minutes. I haven't got a bite, so we got a lot of spots ready to fish. We're gonna head on down. For all the spots I had picked out, we honestly probably can't fish them all in one day. So we're gonna go ahead and get a move on. Okay, well, they ain't biting. Okay, so what we got is we got a hump right out here in the middle of the lake, and it's a pretty big hump, but there's only one small section of it that actually has rocks on it, and we had a marker buoy, we marked it and everything, right out there's the buoy, we're doing everything 
you would think we're doing everything right. We can feel the rocks. We know they're there. We just not getting bit at all. And we've done that on the first spot where we actually caught that small mouth. We've done it on the second spot where we didn't. And the third spot, which is here, and we've not got bit yet. I don't know if I just really need to tie on that spoon again and make them react to it. Or maybe they're just not feeding and they have to react. Or maybe they're just not biting at all because, you know, it's not been a too good of a day. He's hung right now, so I'm going to roll on over there, get him unhung. Number one tip for a hot day of fishing. Bring you plenty of water. Here? Wow, that was a big fish just blew up. I'll tell you here in a second. Looks like I ain't, because my rod's hung up. I had this thing half full of ice last night and this morning, but after what, four hours of fishing, ice is all gone. It's crazy. It's hot out here. It's rough. We don't get this crankbait back, buddy. We're going to the house. I can't come down here every day and, and spend a hundred dollars. I can't. I'm not doing it. I can't do this. You drive. Okay guys, so as you just saw, I basically just rage quit. I gave up and wanted to just go to the house. But, I mean, I did lose a crankbait. Earlier I said I wouldn't kill myself if I lost a crankbait, but I mean, that, that's a pretty good crankbait. I like that crankbait. But anyways, I've sort of regrouped myself. I'm about to eat a granola bar. And you know, we're really gonna slow down. Look on my, look on my graphs. It's summertime, it's hot. The fish are gonna be offshore on, you know, c structure cover, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna slow down. The clouds are coming in, thankfully. Maybe it's gonna cool down a little bit. We're just gonna take our time and I'll drag a jiff if I have to, but getting mad and stuff, that ain't gonna catch me no fish. Hopefully I can catch a fish. I might, I might not, but either way, I'm gonna try a little bit. Try, try is the key word. But like I said, I'm eating my granola bar first. All right, it's time to get one with myself, regain my composure and go drag a jig somewhere. Let's go. Flip him, flip him. Bring him, bring him in. There we go. Yes, sir. We're finally getting on him. Okay, guys, so we regained our composure, we, I said, you know what, we got a fish here. It's a good rocky bank. We're about to run into it, actually. But it's a really nice rocky bank. Perfect riprap type stuff, except it's a little bit bigger. But, and the wind just started picking up all of a sudden. And now it's ripping across that thing. Current's rushing across that. He threw it over there. I didn't have the camera on yet. I was still actually setting up the GoPro. He's like, I got one. And then I was like, and then he's reeling it. He said, oh, never mind, it was just rock. Then it got up to the boat and it just took off. There you go. Toss him in there. He's probably a keeper, but you know, we gotta get back on that point and catch us another fish right here. Okay guys, so did we have an amazing fish catching day? No, but it was a long day, I'll tell you that. We got here at six, it's two now. What is that, like six hours? Eight hours? Yeah, there you go, it's eight hours. That's a pretty long day, I'll just tell you that right now. Two fish, guys. Two fish in eight hours. But we did see another guy he pulled up to us and like, hey, bud, you catch him all today? Said, no, no, not at all. They said, I mean, either. So, I mean, I guess it was just a bad day all around. That doesn't make me feel as bad anymore. I'm going to pop the two notification squads up on the screen right now. If you guys want to be like them, go ahead and turn on your notification bell to where you'll get my notifications. And then come in on the next video as early as possible. Comment hashtag notification squad and then your name. But besides that, leave me a comment and tell me, if it's, is it okay for me to post videos even though I don't slay the fish? Because, you know, every day you just don't slay fish. So please tell me in that in the comments.